Hello there guys, uh, welcome back to House Flipper. Obviously we're now continuing the part two of the job we were doing last, which I can't remember the name for. So, obviously in the last episode we got quite a lot of the rooms sorted. Obviously we've got this bath, well, toilet done. We also got the garage area done. We've got this room painted, which I'm guessing is one of the bedrooms. We've got obviously the living room, kitchen room painted and tiled and floored. Same for another bedroom. We also did the ensuite bathroom. Obviously we've still got a few prices to put down, but we also completed the sauna. So let's get straight into getting these jobs done. Because the sooner I get these done the better. Now I didn't realise that the episode was actually a bit quicker on the part one than what I thought. So I could have actually got the whole assembly for the bathroom done. Um but <coughs> There won't be a part one or a part two for nothing at all, so let's get these done. Ow. What the? I hit the. I somehow missed the. I don't know. Of course, I'd somehow miss it. Because I'm rushing, that's what it is. I'm trying to rush and get the jobs done at the same time. Because they're simple jobs, I still miss it somehow. Obviously, it's going to sound like water's still running until I get the spot cleaned up. <sighs> right, assemble this time. Try and not hit the wrong. I hit the pipe underneath again. Don't ask me how I did it, because even I don't know. Somehow I'm able to see straight through this thing, makes no sense. Maybe the perfectionist is you're not supposed to make any mistakes, so that's probably the reason why I haven't got that one completed yet on the challenges. Oh dear, right there, done. Which would explain quite a bit. But, oh well. At the minute, I'm not going to be too worried about it. I really ain't. I want to have it done, don't get me wrong. But, I don't know. How to complete 100% without making a mistake. Guess that would make sense, but I thought it was just complete the job's 100%. Regardless, I don't know. Assemble, right. You, you. You, you. Drag you out. Unbolt you. Unbolt you. Unbolt you. And unbolt you. Don't know how you'd fit the drum in without... I have no idea. I really don't. Just by taking that little bit off, I don't think you'd be able to fit the drum in that way, but that's my opinion. Pretty sure you'd have to take the exterior shell out for it. That's what doesn't make sense to me. How oh well. on? Obviously, swing that in there. And now this bit, right? Now let the gas go. Right, that's. The bathroom done. Right, let us work on this room. Oh, I'm actually surprised I don't want me to have a different thing. Right, we'll go for a walnut. Bad job in this room, why not? Bed. Seems as we've got no other choice really. Right, we'll go with we'll go with a red interior of it. And I need the one, so we'll go about there. Is there a walnut? And we'll put a staple. Why not? Close enough. Uh, I'll go over this side a bit. Right, we'll 
we'll go for the wardrobe. So it's either sable or walnut. Sable it is. Dressing table. Obviously this time I'll put it this side. So we will have... Go all full brown. Try and make it all match, I guess. Well, technically most people would prefer it all to match. Alright, classic chair. Oh dear. All right, we'll go with that. That looks like it'll go with the room. Stylish stool. Yeah, we'll go for two of them. One for each side of the bed, I guess. For a bedside table. And we'll put a bin down in this corner here. As if we're going out of the room after doing all those normal things. Right, that's that room done. <sighs> the hallway. Let us put... Lamp in that corner there. We'll put that about there. And we'll put the trash can next to it. Bummy. Okay, that's the hallway done. Oh dear, right, kitchen. Yeah, we'll go with red, why not? Right, we'll put one set of lights in and here. And we'll go for what? Navy on the outside here. We'll put about there. Right, we are going to need. We'll need that. We'll put it about there-ish. Uh, TV. Obviously, we we'll want to put the TV on top of the TV stand for obvious reasons. Pretty sure that's the right way around for the TV. There we go. Obviously, we we'll want that sofa there. We want to put that. Well, we'll just space that out just about there for once. <coughs> we will put that and over here. I suppose I don't want to go any by one. And you know what? We'll throw it over here ish. Be a bit better, I guess. Yep, and that still fits in the room. Good. Right, kitchen. Wrong way around. Correct the way around. Right, let's just put it in the. Okay. Right. Fridge. I'm not going to really worry about the design of it. <coughs> We're going to put it. Technically, if I chose the radiator, I would have the right one, but it's going to make me do that. Yep. <coughs> right. Oh, look, a round table for the kitchen. Because everyone's going to eat in here. Obviously, we're going to need the stove. We won't need the a hood. To extract the excess heat and everything else so the kitchen doesn't heat up too much. Or too badly I should say. I know it's going to hurt people's feet like that but Okay, that's a bit better. Um We'll put the trash can over there. And 
obviously you want the yellow rug preferably in the living room where people are just going to sit back and relax right so that's that room last room that's why last room indeed right let's put this one up we'll go with the purple oh it's blue actually okay we'll go with the single birds I'm not going to worry about the colours too much like I said I just want to throw this stuff in I need to make the bed good uh, standard four door wardrobe technically I should actually be putting this over in that corner but I'm not going to be too worried. Standard desk. Let's go for more of a dark wood. Just try and match the feel for the room, I guess. Again, we'll put in a chair for it. I guess they want that type of chair. That's up to them. And we will put a bin in the room. We'll then go and this corner here. Right, and that is all the jobs completed for this place. Huzzah! We actually have a pretty well designed place. I like it. That's all done. So I made £15,505.80. I was going to say cents then. That job was definitely aggravating and awkward. Right, let's get back. Fill in the paperwork, make sure we cross the T's and dot the I's, and make sure we get paid for the job we just did. I'll say that didn't take too long as I expected it to. I'm actually surprised I actually got that completed. I might have actually completed that fully within a whole 55 minutes or a whole hour, but how it split apart into two episodes isn't a bad idea. Obviously, it's a big job, so. I do expect it to be done like that. Um, <coughs> so, yeah, and I want to try and keep these episodes kind of sh about 30 minutes or so. Right, so obviously, the last job we have is all out. So, this will be the last episode. From what I know, this is the last job at the episode for House Flipper Jobs. So, obviously, we've completed every single one of these completely. Now, see the first one, two, three, four. You will notice that if you repeat them, the money may be different. And some of you will be like, well, why is that? Well, obviously, if you guys have forgotten your perks, and obviously when you have the negotiation, higher pay. So obviously, because on the last, what was it, Baby on the Way, we actually had our percentage at 50% extra pay for the job so if you go back to the first few you will get paid a bit extra cash so I thought I'd just put that out there just in case anyone's wondering now obviously so far from all the jobs we've done even though I've had to repeat a few of them I actually have enough what's the most expensive house I could get and still have a bit of change left so far it'll be that one but unfortunately I'm not in the gardens yet so technically it would be man cave now, obviously, I've had to repeat a few of them, which I think I said was an extra, what, 15,000? So, technically, the only house we could still afford is that one. Now, obviously, after the next mission, or job, we would be able to fit, afford this one, maybe even the man cave. So, just by doing all these first jobs, we've actually made enough up to that man cave. Anyway guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please do hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to take a break, get a bed, get some sleep and have some food. Because I'm tired. Anyway, I'm leaving. Bye. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. See you for now.